And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everyone, I'm Tom Vassell, and today I'm going to be showing you an accessory to board games. Uh, game Genix has, is a subsidiary, or they work with Asmodee, to make sleeves and other things for products. In fact, we've talked about them on our channel before in regards to Keyforge. But now they've made stuff for one of the most popular games of all time, Catan. And I have here a whole bag of stuff from Game Genix. We're going to take a look at it see how he fits in this box. Let's test it out. All right, product one, the Hexadox. This is to keep all your pieces in. This is how I'm doing it so far, but the Hexadox looks like it might be better. Let's give it a whirl. So let's see how these are uh, stored in here. We'll open it up. I doubt this box is one I'm gonna wanna keep. So here we have these. Pretty thick plastic. This fits on top. So let's see here. We have room for the hotels. So there's four, I mean, hotels. I'm calling them hotels. Uh, the cities and then the settlements here. These fit in. That's not tight. And then all the roads are going to stick out like this. This has a really good visual effect to it, don't you think? Now, you probably, at the end of a game, this will also make it so that you don't miss a piece. I don't know that that's why I would recommend getting these. Not missing a piece is not necessarily the best way to advocate this. But wow, if you are OCD even a little, this is going to make you happy. And put this on top. Pretty neat. But not neat enough. Let's try this. Oh, okay. They stayed in there. Let's try it again. All right, that's pretty impressive. Let's see how all four colors look. Look at that beauty. That's really good looking. Everything fit in this one orange hotel. A uh, hotel. I'm still calling them hotels. City doesn't fit in, but it's not the device. I tested it. I moved stuff around. I just have a fat one for some reason. I'm not sure what happened there, but I managed to get it in for now. I'll have to try to find a replacement for that building. But putting all these on here, I like this. This is just a great look to it. And here we go. I'm sure they'll fit in the box. So far, so good. Everything's fitting in the box. Let's look at the next thing. Alrighty, next we have sleeves. These are sleeves made for Catan itself. Uh, I'm not a huge sleeves person. I can take or leave them. But I think charitably, uh, the cards for Catan are not going to be called very uh, good quality cards. So sleeves won't hurt. Especially as most of the cards in Catan are not necessarily used as a shuffle to deck, but they're used as resources themselves. So there's 120 sleeves here. I hope that's enough. I actually don't know how many cards are in Catan. Well, looks fine. Looks like a sleeve. It's a nice thickness to it. All right, let's sleeve them. Well, that was very exact. <laughs> they, the cards fit in there exactly. I don't know how much I like these. The cards are fine, but they're really slippery. And considering I'm using these for stacking purposes, I don't know that I would buy these by themselves. But lo and behold, this is not the only project that has to do with the cards. We also have the trading post. Now this is pretty neat. There's magnetics all throughout this. The lid comes off and in fact, the lid itself can be folded together to make a dice tray. So I'm actually not sure how that works. I think it's... Is it backwards like this? Yes, it is backwards like that. Alrighty. There you go. Pretty neat. A dice tray to roll the dice here for Catan. So that's kind of a neat concept to have that as the lid for Catan itself. But I'm more interested in what's inside here. This is where the cards are. And as you can see, they fit with the sleeves. This opens up and then this slides back. It slides right back like this, and then you can use this for the cards in the game. So now, I actually have a much less problem with the sleeves because this is going to keep them safe. I mean, they might still 
uh, slide around in front of me, so there's that. But man, this is great. Now, here's the thing, though. I haven't yet tested this. I don't know if this fits in the box, because if it doesn't fit in the box, whoops, wrong way. If it doesn't fit in the box, I've, oh, ooh, that's close. Ah, uh, that's just a little bit above the box. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Well, what happens when we put the lid on? I can't put it in sideways. All right, so there is a bit of a lip here with it in the box. That's a bummer. Maybe, now I, maybe the newer version of the Catan, this is from Catan Studios, it is Catan. This is the newest one, I think. Maybe there's a newer box that will fit this in it, but that's the only negative thing. Other than that, this is amazing. Lastly, we have something to hold the hexes in. So, ah, this would be something I wouldn't expect here, but let's open it up and try it out. Okay, folks, color me surprised. I was wrong here. This is actually a dice tower. Not the dice tower you might be used to. It's just a dice tower, so there is no container for these. I thought that would be neat to have a container for those, but whatever. So there's two different ones, the yellow and the red. They're the same thing. And then it... The bottom comes off so you can catch your dice in a sense. So let's see here. Did I put it in the wrong side? Maybe the dice go in this side. Whee! And then I keep the dice in here. And then wrap it up like this. This is a gimmick. <laughs> All right. So I'll put that in there. And then I put my hexes in here. And we got the frame. Uh, I can go sideways like that. We have these boards. We have the rules. And that's it. So if it wasn't for the one thing, it would be a perfect fit. As it is still, it does pretty much fit inside there. Adds definitely to the weight of the box. That's pretty cool. Well, first of all, obviously, I am was incorrect on two things. One, I thought those things held hexes. And two, I thought the other thing would fit in the box. I still love it, though. It's so annoying. So I have to ding at a point, though, for not fitting in the box. But uh, the sleeves, meh. The dice tower, pff, who cares about that? I wouldn't buy that at all. I don't recommend that. Whoopie do. The only reason you get that and you say, Tom, your show's called Dice Tower. Yeah, but we have like cool dice towers. This is some dorky little hexagon dice tower. Blah. Um, the sleeves are okay. If you like sleeves, you like them. If you don't like me, they'll be okay. But that thing that holds the sleeves, that is really well done. And I love those things that hold all the pieces. Those are really nice too. And if you want to keep all your pieces neatly in front of you, and if you have that one person who always lines everything up neatly, give this to them. See what they do. They're like, oh, but it's already done. Uh, uh, what do I do with my hands now? <laughs> so obviously, everything here for the Game Genix is extra stuff. This is stuff if you want to really just bling out Catan. You know me, I like to bling out my game. So I'm keeping all this stuff. But I can't really recommend the Dice Tower. And the sleeves, I recommend only if you want sleeves. But the other two things are really cool. So overall, some neat stuff. I look forward to seeing what Gamegenic does in the future. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you all next time.